So I know videos have been kind of all over the place, they're not really being uploaded on the right days, at the right times, stuff like that. I apologize, I want to make a community post talking about it. it. The answer is really simple, it's nothing too crazy. And since we have actually quite a bit of stuff to go over today, uh, I don't want to spend too much time on it. So yeah, hopefully soon I'll make a community post. Again, it's, not, it's nothing crazy, right? The answer is really simple. I'm just really sorry, videos have been kind of slow. So anyways, we are here to talk about book news because there's actually been quite a bit of book news. There's been three new covers, well, technically two of them are whips, but technically three, and then we have a preview for the FNAF coloring book. First, however, we must address the Orville elephant in the room. Are you subscribed? <laughs> I really don't think you are. You might be mistaken. Maybe you thought you hit the button, but it turns out, no, you did not. And you know, that hurts. It does. So if you could subscribe, because we have a lot more news to talk about in the future. I'm very behind on news, and trust me, you do not want to miss it. So just go down, it takes like two seconds, hit, this, hit the sub button, hit the like. All right, let's jump in. I said I didn't want to take up too much time at the start, but here I am taking up too much time at the start. So the FNAF coloring book, this is the cover. We've already talked about it in a separate video. It now has a preview for four pages, technically two, uh, it's two images, but it's four pages. And this is what they look like. As you can see, honestly, the drawings are not that bad. So there are four animatronics in the previews that we have so far. There's Bonnie the Bunny rocking out on his guitar. We have Chica pointing towards her cupcake, not really sure what she's doing. Uh, then we have Freddy talking into his mic, and then we have Bro, security puppet, doing Honestly, not sure what that pose is, but they look so cool and kind of creepy for some reason. Not gonna lie, I was kind of expecting this. However, the description does say, you know, like, illustrate your favorite scenes from the game. So I was hoping for just a little bit more detail, especially for the backgrounds. Um, but overall, I think this is great. There's not really much to talk about besides um, Bonnie, Chica, Freddy, and Security Puppet are confirmed for the book. And as you can see, the poses look really cool. Bonnie has his faces and some music notes behind him. Chica has... what is that? I don't really know. There's some squares and some triangles, I guess. Um, and then she has some stars and balloons. Freddy has some pizza, some cheese so what what is going on behind him i really have no freaking clue um but he's got a great pose and then security puppet has these really trippy waves but yeah overall the detail on these illustrations are just fantastic so i really hope the rest of the book um lives up to the preview if you're curious so far the release date for this book is january 5th of 2021 so it's 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 getting there we're getting pretty close and now we're moving on to the fazbear frights book however we're not going to start off with the cliffs just yet because that part of the video is going to be a lot more detailed instead we have a whip cover for number eight and number nine. So it's really simple. As you can see, this is the cover for book number eight. Uh, the title says title TK, which I don't really know what TK stands for. Um, but of course, that's not the name of the book because book number nine has that same, um, it, it has the same title. So I'll quickly go over the descriptions for the two books right now. But again, I don't want to spend too much time on them because as you can see, the cover is nothing but advanced darkness. Number eight, a string of bad luck you can't seem to shake. For Angel, Hudson, and Sergio. Someone actually told me I pronounced it wrong in a previous episode, but I can't remember how you actually pronounce it, so I'm just gonna call him Sergio. It's an all too familiar feeling. Repulsed by her spoiled stepsister's lavish birthday party, Angel exacts a hasty and ill-fated revenge. Hudson's young life is littered with tragedy and broken dreams, but a well-paying security job might just be all he needs to turn things around. Sergio acquires a unique novelty toy that instantly brings good luck, but is the toy really leading him to happiness or to a more monstrous end? In this 8th volume, FNAF creator Scott Cawthon spends three sinister novella-length stories from different corners of his series' canon, featuring cover art from fan-favorite artist Lady Fizzy. Readers beware this collection of terrifying tales is enough to unsettle even the most hardened for our fans. Messed that line up at the end, but we're gonna go with it. So number nine does not have a description just yet, but they do have release dates. Number eight comes out on May 
4th, and then number 9 comes out on July 6th. And so now, moving on to the whole topic of today's video, The Cliffs. This is book number 7, and the cover for it has been revealed. And this is it. Honestly, this is so... Cool. I don't know why, but I just love this cover so much. If you have read any of the stories, or if you are up to date with your ScottGames.com teasers, then you will immediately recognize who this character is, or at least what they appear to represent. Lonely Freddy, of course. That is totally a either a reference, or it is Lonely Freddy. I don't think it is, because as far as I'm aware, and as far as I remember, uh, Lonely Freddy is actually a animatronic and not a plushie like this character. So, what does this mean? Well, I think it's very interesting. And correct me if I'm wrong, um, I, I don't really remember how the story goes, but I believe, and this is spoilers for Lonely Freddy, um, Alec gets turned into Lonely Freddy, right? Lon Lonely Freddy takes Alex's body. Alec? Alex's? Whatever. He takes his body. Um, and then he leaves to go off with his family. And then Alec is stuck in like a dumpster with other Lonely Freddies. It's weird. I can't remember if Alec turns into a plushie or the animatronic itself. Uh, again, you're gonna have to fill me in because I forget the story. And bringing it up quickly, this is the summary for this book. Some things must be learned the hard way. Reed sees an opportunity to teach the school bully not to mess with him, but ends up mangling the lesson. Robert, an exhausted single father, gets a crash course in parenting when he buys a fancy new teddy bear to watch and entertain his young son. Chris, eager to join the science club at school, agrees to undergo a grisly experiment to be accepted. But in the malevolent universe of FNAF, there's always an education in pain. So trying to figure out which story this could be for is kind of complicated, but also maybe kind of simple. So if you saw our last video talking about the books, then you will know that 1.35am originally had a different name. It was going to be called Room for One More, which is another story in this book, but it for some reason got changed. We all know that the first story is always the cover for the book. So going off of the back of this book, we can determine that Reed's story should be, um, should be involved with whatever this new Teddy Lonely Freddy character is. I, d I don't fully know where this teddy bear could fit into Reed's story, unless maybe they haven't changed the summary just yet, um, because really, Robert and Chris's story are the only stories that I can maybe see where this guy could be- c could get involved. I'm playing with a sharpie, but for Robert, um, of course, he's talking about a fancy new teddy bear, which is exactly what we are seeing on the cover. And then for Chris, um, the- the word grizzly really stood out to me, especially with this new cover, because, you know, grizzly, grizzly bear. And it seems like, based off the background of the cover, we're gonna be located in some woodland area. So, those two stories for Robert and Chris are the only stories I can really see this teddy bear coming into play. So either, Reed just finds a random teddy bear to play with um, in their story, or they have yet to change the summary around to fit the first um, story with the cover. I guess we're just gonna have to wait for more info. The book releases on March 2nd, so quite a ways away. Not not too long, but still, you know, kind of far. And dang, the sixth book doesn't come out till December 29th? That is insane, we have such a long time to wait. Because Bunny Caller just came out earlier this month, like at the exact start of this month, so we've got a while until the next book. Hopefully I can catch up. But that is everything on the books so far. Of course, there's gonna be more news in the future, so again, you should subscribe because you do not want to miss it. I should have put this at the start of the video. Um, I'll probably leave it as a pinned comment, but I know I'm behind on videos. I need to talk about the news for Security Breach, all the news um, around the game and its trailer, and also Clown Springtrap was released for me yesterday, um, which you guys know me. I don't feel like I need to pump out a FNAF AR video the night it releases. So that'll probably be out Sunday, maybe in Security Breach, hopefully tomorrow. This is going to be another late upload, so I'm going to get right to editing this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us.